And finally, there's the broader ecosystem consideration. GNOME has already announced that GNOME 49 will drop X11 support entirely. Other major distributions like Fedora have been wailing by default for years. Ubuntu is essentially catching up with where the rest of the Linux ecosystem is heading. Now let's talk about what you actually get when you make the switch to Wayland, because despite all the controversy, there are some genuine benefits that make this transition worthwhile. The biggest improvement is security. X11 security model is, to put it bluntly, a joke by modern standards. Any application running under X11 can read input from any other application, take screenshots of any part of the screen, and even inject fake input events. This means that a malicious application can literally keylog your passwords, take screenshots of your banking information, or control other applications without your knowledge. Wayland fixes this by implementing proper application isolation. Applications can only access their own windows and input events. They can't spy on other applications or inject fake input. This is a massive security improvement that brings Linux desktops up to the security standards we expect from modern operating systems. 